So I'm going to follow the Avid Knowledge Base article on the subject titled Sibelius Doesn't Show Up in Rewire. Okay, so first we need to click on the instructions for Windows, which you'll find at the bottom of the article here. Just click on the link. We'll expand it out. And then we need to go through these series of steps, 1 through to 7. So step 1 wants us to delete some rewire.dll files. So we're going to go to C drive, then into program files, then into common files, and into propeller head software. And there should be a rewire folder in there containing a file called rewire.dll. So to get to that location, I'm going to go to Windows icon, then into computer, and that'll open up all the locations on the computer. So I go into the local C drive, then into the program files folder, and inside there's a folder called common files, and inside there's a folder called propeller head software, and inside here is our folder called rewire, and here we find the DLL file that's mentioned in the article. So you can right click that one and choose delete. Okay, next location is C drive again, but this time we're going to go into program files x86, then into common files again, propeller head software again, and rewire again, and we should find another file with the same name as this one. So I'll go through the same process. Windows icon, bottom left of screen, computer, C drive, this time program files x86, common files, a bit more to choose from in here, and propeller head software again, and there's our rewire folder, and there's our rewire DLL just like before. And just before I go any further, I'll go back to computer and just mention that if you don't see the program files x86 folder and only see a folder called program files on your computer, don't worry, it just means you're running 32-bit Windows instead of 64-bit. Okay, so moving on to step number two. So now we want to access the app data folder, which is hidden by default under Windows. And it's showing us a little trick for accessing this via the start button. So I'm going to click on the start button again, type in percent symbol and the abbreviated term app data, and percent symbol again, then hit enter on the keyboard, and that takes us into the app data and roaming folder by default. The article wants us to navigate first of all to the Avid folder and Sibelius 7 folder. So here we are in roaming. There's an Avid folder in here. And there's a Sibelius 7 folder inside. So here we are at this point. And it wants us to delete a folder called Plug Engine. So let's have a look in here. So here it is. So we just right click that folder and choose Delete. Sibelius will recreate that uh, when it restarts. Okay, and still at step number two, in the Avid folder, we also want to delete the contents of a folder called Common, as it instructs us to do here. So if I go back to App Data again, and here's our Common folder, and here's our Rewire and Device Log files. So we'll right click those and choose Delete. Okay, so moving on to step three, and there's just a little warning on this one about being careful because we're going into a folder now that contains system level files and if you delete any of these you might cause other problems with your machine. Okay so we now want to access the Windows directory folder and we've got a similar shortcut procedure to get there using this uh, abbreviated term. So I'm just going to copy and paste that and go into the Windows icon into the text field and right click and choose paste and then hit enter on my keyboard and from the Windows directory folder it wants us to go into this folder here syswow64 so I'm going to scroll down to folders under S there it is double click on that and it says inside here there should be another one of these rewire.dll files so I'm just going to scroll down to files under R 
there's my rewired DLL file. So I'll right click that and choose delete. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the uninstallation of rewire. And when it comes to the new version of rewire that Sibelius 7.1.3 users, uh, the 7.1.3 installer actually puts that version of rewire on your machine by default when it installs. So now that we've gotten rid of everything, to get rewire 1.8.2 installed, which is the new version, you need to reinstall Sibelius 7.1.3. So first thing you want to do is go through step 4, uninstall Sibelius as you would any other program on your PC, uh, just via start button control panel programs and features or uninstall a program and then empty the trash when that's done so you get rid of all those uh, rewire files and anything that's been deleted from the uninstallation and then reinstall Sibelius 7.1.3 I recommend downloading the full installer from here and installing from that as that's generally the, uh, the easiest way to run an installation rather than using the DVD drive and then just go through the details at step number seven to start Sibelius and set it up to run properly as a rewire slave after you've reinstalled. And hopefully with the newly refreshed rewire installation, you'll find it will now operate properly in rewire mode or you don't get any rewire startup issues as you may have had previously. And just a note on this little appendage here, it doesn't actually hurt to just go through the procedure here to reinstall rewire 1.7 as well because it doesn't interfere with rewire 1.8 and just means that any digital audio workstation application you might be using that relies on Rewire 1.7 to uh, utilise Rewire will then have the Rewire file in the appropriate location and it will be refreshed upon reinstalling from the propeller heads download as well. So I'd just go through that one uh, also just to make sure you've got all your Rewire options on the machine.